Okay. Didn't miss anything. Stage striking. Doesn't count as missing, I suppose. Uh, but they already struck two fountain. And we're gonna see Pichu. Uh, so they had a set of winners that went to 3 1. Um, and apparently. Oh, that's surprising. Uh, apparently, Codeman went four different characters. One with Falco out of those four. So. Pichu is where it's at right now, though. And I wonder if the, the neutral Vs are a new strategy to deal with some puff stuff. Ooh, Pig respecting the, the up air, or the up smash. I was actually thinking, what if Codeman just couch cancel, up, couch cancel up smashes right after this? And first talk goes to Codeman. At this rate, he will be in grand finals. But that's calling it way too early. Like, we don't play one set, or one stock. Uh, that's the one. However, that is a format, the YOLO tournament. And Tigglypuff's very able to cover just about all of Pichu. Ooh, no tech. That was a really interesting angle, but Puff was still on the edge. Ooh, better spacing on the Nair, but he could have hit right there. <laughs> Down throw shield. Interesting. Oh, paying attention to what Pig does after he down throws. Because uh, it looks like Pichu can't get anything after the down throw. Puff's too light. He's got a lot of grabs, though. Let's see if Pig has learned anything from commentating at Codeman set and beating him already today. That was a really good edge cancel. Um, that was a really tough angle to pull off too, but uh, it worked out. Sivy, unfortunately, so punishable by Tigglypuff. She can go out there and get you. Ooh, I was thinking he's gonna up smash onto the platform. Oh, I was thinking, yeah, Pig's gonna land around that area most of the time. That's when I up smash his mark actually. Up smash takes the stock. Um, Oh, a V's all the way off stage. If he edge cancel, it'd be super cool. Two nares, almost that kill percent for up smash. <laughs> almost walling him out too, but Puff able to do stuff. Aw, uh, two pummels and a back throw. I'd like to see Codeman run under Tigglypuff's landings and I'll smash out a shield some. It's not something that's going to work often, but that's that's what I would be thinking. Those are ways to take stocks. Uh, you got to be ready for that roll. It's one of the problems that I was having. Not always being ready for Pig's rolls. Going really low for the Nair. Yeah, Pig's still landing around that same spot, but he's able to cover the, the area so safely back here. So, first game Pig after a hippy start to that. Oh, I still had... Okay, well it's actually 1-0 Pig. That was the first game. Okay. Might be thinking about more stages and characters. He did switch around last time. Maybe Falco, Yoshi is. Um, I think that's the game he won. Yep. So he's gonna try that again. See if it works. Twice in one day. Um, that almost worked out. <laughs> Ooh, those are kind of dangerous uh, dares. When they're that early, you got to be ready for the, the grab. Yeah, it's got to fade away too. Keeps getting grabbed. Really dangerous. Yeah, like right there. Codeman needs to fade away when he attacks. 
Like, if he's gonna come down with attack, you need to space it. Especially with spot. You can't allow yourself to get grabbed ever. Those are the big things that get punishes. And that's a rest. Uh, up till it shine shine would work. Potentially. Maybe drill shine shine. Drill there. Um, yeah, there's some really cool little Falco combos that lead into shine off the top at low percent against Puff. Right there, uh, that's too high percent actually. Uh, shine to shine only works to like 70. I happen to know this because I tried it once on FD. Uh, and I could never get it after 70. So around then you have to be doing up tilt to shine because up tilt is weaker. Less uh, knockback. Uh, more knockback growth. Less big base knockback. And Puff's so light. And straight to the rest. Down till we'll take the stock. But F smash will too. And that's not fortunate. But Falco actually stands standing after that. Aw, uh, Shine? No, missed the jump. Eyes that time. Wow, bear just too early. Commanding in the lens. He's just too low. Uh, I don't think up till actually kills for a little bit longer. And Shine won't either. Was that a phantom again? Up you would kill. That will. Um, whereas for Jigglypuff, we all know that rest is going to kill it pretty much any percent on the stage. Uh, back air really depends on where it is. Like It's so easy to edge guard Falco sometimes. Oh, that could have been an edge guard right there. Yeah, he gets that one. Uh, Uppy may have been able to make the cloud, but he could have just reacted. Code man has to be on the ground. Don't get grabbed and up throw arrested. Good cross up. Can't get up throw if you are behind them. Pig a little bit too uh, afraid of going straight for rest, so he goes for the up air first. And good fade back on the, the side B jump. Well, jump side B. That doesn't kill. That was very close. Uh, back air, or that was back airable. <laughs> uh, so, out of super easy to shine off the top kills. But Falco always an up throw rest percent. Well, always until like 100, actually. Uh, 100, almost enough to take up stock from the middle of the stage. Lots of shielding right now by Jigglypuff. Oh, he doesn't go out enough. Uh, that time he stays on stage. Oof. One back air could take the stock from either player. And... There to quote D1. So, Code Man wins again with Falco on his counter pick. And Dreamland, he goes P2 again. That's interesting. Um, not sure uh, the, the whole reasoning behind this, but um, it's what he wants to do on the big stage. It's going to be really hard for him to get any kills. Uh, Jigglypuff's gonna live a long time, even uh, throughout the, the up smashes. And he can't get strong punishes on rest, but Puff always gets those early kills. Funny thing with uh, Puff versus a lot of characters is that it's not really like class cannon anymore because they just can't, uh, they can't retaliate Puff as much. Whereas, like, Falco Puff on Yoshi certainly can be seen as glass cannon from either side. Same with Fox Puff, even Marth Puff in some cases, maybe even Falcon. But P2 
Pichu? I don't think he's at that level. <laughs> Codeman, though, he thinks Pichu is a lot better than what people give him credit for. Uh, as far as beating Puff on Dreamland is concerned, though, he's going to have to figure out something in the neutral to really get ahead of Pig. Able to crouch cancel a low percent. I'll throw up air. So, the Smash 4 combo. Uh, down tilt. Could be a good idea. Uh, down throw shield. Okay. Uh, so we're seeing more tilts again by Codeman. Uh, maybe you should do something like wave dash up tilt sometimes. Uh, F tilt is just so tiny that I uh, can't really do anything about it. That's almost never going to work, unfortunately. Uh, just Dreamland ceiling is way too high up there. Oh, and if it does combo, then it's not going to kill, because it's too weak. Um, but Codeman doing a lot of work this stock. Able to capitalize on Pig's uh, little <laughs> aerial habits. Crash cancel down tilt. Uh, at least puts Pig off stage, but uh, P2 can't get much any much of anything off it. Pig could be living another 50% if Codeman doesn't get uh, an up smash soon. Oh, could have up smash right there. Probably messed up. Uh, always have to know when the up smash has shield opportunities are there. Especially when it's one of P2's best options. Oh, wow. So Nair does take it earlier than 150. <laughs> um. No one else left. Alright, that's the 32%, more than 32% punish. That was 37. I uh, didn't pay enough attention to what he was at earlier. I thought it was just 32. Um, not many moves that go over that. Uh, but, side B is possibly a better kill move sometimes than uh, up smash. But, that's the only time that you can use it. I don't even know if that's fully charged actually. Uh, if you can fully charge it versus Puff's Rest. Puff came in the, er, P uh, P2 came in the top platform a little. But making sure that he comes down at the right time. He shouldn't waste his stock, of course. Uh, up smash kill percent, but it's up to Pig to set up the up smash in some ways. Careful spacing. I wonder if he was looking for it there. Uh, pig's thinking up smash now. He's, so, he's seen so much pig, P2 up smash that Jigglypuff can do it too. Uh, interesting angle by Codeman. May have been trying to edge cancel. Oh, Could have up smashed again. Alright, there's an up smash on the shield. Uh, I was wondering when he'd just start throwing it out. Back here, not going to take it yet. Uh, but one by here will. Oh, barely grabs the edge in time. So, 2-1 pig right now. Pig's certainly feeling comfortable about the matchup. Codeman willing to stay P2. Not agreeing to MK2. That's a fun stage. Um, I didn't actually hear what Codeman said. Might have been Stadium. Yeah. Um, so he's gonna stay P2. Ready, go. Okay, Pig opening up with those back airs. And Codeman found the opening. Pig falling too much into a pattern. Codeman just looking for the jumps and the landings. Wonder if Codeman was trying to up tilt there. Pig certainly was. Um, that is certainly a dangerous percent if Codeman runs into anything up 
word related. Like that. Aw, uh, I don't think he could have gotten anything off it, but it's close. I know that some characters that I play would have gone comboed into rest. Um, no, turned out to be too early. Pig was ready for it. What Codeman wants to do there is probably fast fall and then uh, get out of there. Ooh, we should have waited a little longer. But uh, interesting exchange there with the spot dodges and up smashes. Good job not landing on uh, the grabby side of the, the shield. Codeman calling out the Tempeta shield. Does a bunch of damage to himself. And Puff. Oh. Codeman's gotten away with so many spot dodges. Probably at up smash kill percent now. I need, er, I want to see Codeman read those rolls in. Need it. Codeman wants to punish something by pig. It's gotta be a roll in. Something that I also have some trouble punishing at times. But if you're ready for it, all you have to do is hit one direction on the C stick. <laughs> Which is what they did right there. Um, pig, aware that P2 has up smash out of shield though. So, um, he's going to be careful around P2 shields. Uh, not that time. He's just going to fair in. Uh, almost gets punished. Crouching, uh, like, you're out of range horizontally from P2. Not sure about why you want to couch. <laughs> Risky down air. Just roll out of there. P2's okay with giving up a little space to get the, get some ability to near in. Yeah, I'll be all set. See ya. Cutting it close on getting rides from anybody. I was hoping Donut could, but he's got to get out of here. Ooh, awful down air by P2. Gets punished for it. Could have gone a rest there, but um, ooh, up air will do it. So certainly worth it to not rest, just in case P2 does the eye. Self-explanatory right there. Pig trying to end the set a little early. And almost can. 39% from zero. One more of those might kill. But P2 runs into the wall of Jigglypuff the Puff back airs. Pig is going to keep throwing them out until Coban shows he can get through it. Which he has a couple times, but not enough. And certainly not enough to win the set. Down to last two players. I gotta play pig now. <laughs>